Hello traders, Gary Wagner here, just about 10.15 in Honolulu, 4.15 in New York on Friday. Happy Aloha Friday as we say on the islands. It is May the 6th, 2016 and this is the daily report for gold and silver, our weekend review in which we combine it with trending markets. We'll be looking to cover gold, silver, US dollar, S&P 500 equities markets as well as crude oil all on today's daily report. First, to gold. Gold has seen a nice move to the upside today following a mixed jobs report. We do have gold trading about $10 higher on the day, 12.88 and change. Now it's traded to a low of 12.74 and change and a high of 12.95 on the day. So we finally got an answer to the jobs number. The report, of course, it came out today. Jobs report was weak at best. Of course, that quelling any possibility, at least in the eyes of the majority of investors and traders, that there will be any kind of rate hike by the Fed in June. That being said, we saw equities markets in a moderate rally today and precious metals trading higher on the day. Now, we talked about silver just a, a little while ago, and that was trading up about eight-tenths of a percent. Gold, on the other hand, is up about a percent and a half, trading up, as I said, about 11 dollars on the day now we're looking at a daily chart on this daily chart we have identified a couple of key areas but we talked about this basic breakout and it was this breakout that actually initiated the long position we got long right here when the market broke above this particular line here our resistance line however it was to be short-lived as the market came right back down and into this compression triangle we originally had our stops just below 1222 and that was so that we could keep it under the compression triangle as it moved closer and closer to the apex so to speak now we weathered the storm as this market came down and formed what I believe to be the final E wave of this compression triangle. And the way that our count would look is we reached a wave five. That would be our sub count to a minor one here. And then from there, we went into a wave two, which was composed of an A, B, a C, a D, a final E, and then our thrust. Now, we did get long the market here. We then watched the market trade back up and we raised our stops to below uh, 1267. And that was based upon a couple of things. Let's go ahead and clear this up. But that was based on a couple of things. But primarily what that was based upon is this 50% retracement that comes in right here. That's a 50% retracement from the low to the high here and also the fact that that was the close or the the close near the high of this green candle right here and that's why we put it below there now we weathered some pretty dramatic but yet shallow retracement throughout the entire week and in fact yesterday not knowing what we would get from the jobs report I suggested an alternative strategy. You could either simply maintain your long position as we are doing or pull profits at the market. For traders that did that, they got in roughly at 12.56. They got out at about 12.76 to 12.77 for about a $20 gain on the trade. And if you email me for those clients that did pull profits, I will individually help you re-enter the market. It will probably be if and when we add another leg to our current long position. For those of us that maintained our long position in gold, maintain it through the weekend, maintain your current stop. We will look to trail that up first part of next week. Silver also showing a nice gain on the day, currently trading at about $17.47. It is traded to a low of $17.23 and a high on the day of $17.59. So traders, silver did close higher on the day, lower on the week. We're looking at a weekly chart, and you can see that in terms of the week itself, we did have what's called a dark cloud cover. Market opened at the close of last week's trading and traded almost 
to the midpoint and there would be the dark cloud cover what we're looking at is almost an incomplete dark cloud cover if we convert this to a daily which i'm about to do you'll see that really what happened over the last couple of weeks has been unique in that we have seen this market kind of take off in a spurt trade sideways for a while take off in a spurt sideways spurt small correction in this area but then for the better part of the last couple of days again back to sideways trading and so we'll probably experience yet another spurt my upside goal for the market right now is roughly 1850 i think that the market can easily move to that particular price point let's go ahead and bring in another chart this also being a weekly chart but it is in japanese average format and you can clearly see where we're pulling this 1850 from in terms of price and that is one it is a 61 percent retracement of the move from 21 dollars down to about 14 dollars 61 percent retracement but more eloquently it lines up really effectively with the high point that silver traded to last year in the um 2015 calendar year and this is also when gold traded to the high last year so that is our upward mark traders that are long this market were long from 37 maintain your current stops your stops are 1707 low today 1723 and as i said we will look to raise those stops come monday or tuesday crude oil is closing higher on the day lower on the week we'll take a look at the week's action when we look at our first chart but in terms of today's activity 44.63 closing up about 31 cents a barrel. So as far as crude light goes, we did see the market move up a little bit today, but well off the highs that we saw about midweek, we're looking at a weekly chart, and this weekly chart has one basic fib retracement from 112 a barrel down to just below 26 per barrel, couple of different marks, but our 23% retracement, that comes in roughly at $46 a barrel. And if we take a look at the recent highs over the last couple of weeks, that is precisely where we're looking at our top in the market. My genuine sense about oil is that we have hit some sort of a tentative top, I believe, and we will probably see this market begin to soften next week and prices moving back down towards $40 a barrel. U.S. equities are finishing the day on a strong note, up about 80 points on the day, almost a half a percent rise to close at 17740 However, it did close slightly off on the week. Same thing with the Standard & Poor's 500, closing at 2052.75, a nine-point gain on the day. And traders, if you recall from yesterday's show, in fact, we have been talking about this all week, and that is the fact that as prices came up and hit this elusive uh, 2100 on the Standard Poor's, this being the E-mini, of course, corresponding to 18,000 on the Dow, we saw weakness in the market. We also talked about the fact that we were quickly approaching our 50-day moving average. And whether or not the market was able to find some sort of support or some sort of backwinds behind it to move it off of the basic downward spiral that we have seen in equities and give it a technical basis to move up. Well, the jobs report certainly gave us that today. As you can see, when we look at the uh, Standard & Poor's 500 right now, the low absolutely went into and below our 50-day moving average, but our close as well as our open are solidly above that price price point based upon that on a technical basis and the jobs report although it was weak the money is still flowing the fed will probably not raise rates in june and i think we'll see equities begin to meander back higher and then possibly once again flirt with 2100 on the s p's this has been a most interesting week to say the least for those traders maintaining their long positions in gold and silver, our recommendation is to hold those longs throughout the weekend. Maintain your current stop levels. We will look to raise those stops early next week. For traders that 
covered their positions in gold and silver with a profit, you can email me directly and I will give you an indication of when to step back into the market. It will probably be as we put an additional leg on our long silver and long gold trade. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. Have a great weekend. We'll talk to you on Monday for another daily update and review.